So I came for my annual right here at Family Medicine. And um, they diagnosed that I had a three month, the size of a three month fetus that was causing all of the bleeding. And so at that point, you know, we talked about surgery and so on and so forth, but I didn't want to do another surgery. I already had three surgeries. So at that point, I opted to just deal with the pain. But unfortunately, medication I was taking, it didn't alleviate the pain at all. And unfortunately, that has been the story for many women who would rather live with the pain than to have invasive surgery. Popol says her symptoms were so intense, it often interrupted her daily life. For me, I like to exercise, I like to work out. And I noticed I was getting tired a lot, fatigue. I didn't want to be bothered. I didn't want to come out of the house because of the pain during that time. So when I started to notice that, I said, mm -mm, something is definitely wrong. Um, I was always also told that I was anemic. Now I understand why, because I was losing a lot of blood. That's why she found interventional radiologist at Family Medicine Center, Dr. Mikhail Higgins. She then opted for a fairly new, minimally invasive procedure known as uterine artery embolization. After the procedure, I had to ask Dr. Higgins if he actually did anything, if he touched me, because I didn't, I didn't feel anything. Um, but there was the incision in the groin. That's the only way I knew something was actually done. And so after that, I came out, I think the next day and two weeks, home for two weeks. I didn't feel any pain at all. As for how she's been feeling since the procedure. Like myself again, normal. My husband is happy, like Dr. Higgins said, because the spouse, you know, it's painful. Everything was painful, but now I, I'm good, I'm normal. Like I told Dr. Higgins, he is a godsend. For women who thinking of living with it, there's no need to, no need to. Because my concern too was having a hysterectomy, even though I don't want any more children. But like he said, the femininity part of it, I opted for the uterine fibroid immobilization.